And welcome back into the Sports Source, this segment of our show. Brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. Across East Tennessee, Tenova has facilities right there for you in your time of need. The thing that sets Tenova apart, though, in my mind, and I know, <laughs> it's their people. Uh, they treat you so very well. Learn more about them at Tenova.com. All right, a uh, quick segment here, the big question of the week. And I said just two or three weeks ago that the Donnie Tyndall hire was a stupid hire. Didn't mean he wasn't a good guy. Doesn't mean that he, at that time, I thought he may survive, may be a good coach. But, ten, but as we said earlier, Dave Hart couldn't make that hire at that time, I didn't think. Is that mistake, and a lot of fans say yes, is that mistake enough to need Hart gone too? Bob Hodges, yes. you think he should be <laughs> yes, gone? Yes, I think he should. And for the simple reason is you, you had had NCAA problems three years earlier. You didn't handle the Conzo Martin situation well, and then you went out and you hired somebody that had already gotten the school put on probation. And, and this blows up in your face, and he said he vetted him. I mean, what? Any trouble? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so, yes, I think this should cost Dave Hart his you job. You got to off the <laughs> set yeah. there. Uh, should Dave Hart be gone, Chuck? No, I don't think so, and, and here's why. Butch Jones. He got that hire right. No, and he that's didn't. The he one. tried he to hire Charlie Strong. Strong. Well, he tried to hire Charlie He still got it. But, I know, but he, he got, got it. That's who he, he brought in, who he went after, and how that worked out, it's who he got to take the job. But I tell you what. There's a gentle nudge on the back uh, He's that Dave Hart, yeah, that is feeling it. And I tell you what, it's a good thing they're using a search committee for the first time in well, his career. He, he says it was his decision. Yeah. Maybe so, but I'm guaranteeing you there's some people in the room that applauded when he decided to do it. If, if, they, didn't, if they didn't encourage it, I'm sure they were happy with it. Should he be gone? No, and, uh, but he's on the hot seat. Uh, obviously, he made a huge mistake with him. There, he admitted no doubt. it. Yeah, so. But you've got Butch Jones, you've got the football program going in the right direction. You've got them in that tax layer bowl, which was a pretty good effort on his part Nobody to get him there. I think he is turning around some of the financial situation over there. Now, has he messed up on a couple of other issues? That Lady Voss thing certainly is not going very well. But, uh, but I, no, I, I think that he's done some other good things with the, with the program, but he did screw up the Tyndall thing. Mark? Uh, no, he shouldn't be fired. One, as you guys talked about, the Butch Jones, uh, you don't want to do anything that's going to push him to the NFL level uh, any quicker than he might want to get there. Uh, and, and I think from a basketball standpoint, uh, yes, he shouldn't have hired the guy with the NCAA issues, but I think he should be commended for saying, going to the NCAA and saying, look, this timetable is, is dragging out way too right. long. Okay. Give us some information now so we can make a decision. I think that's fair. I I would put him on the hottest of hot seats at this point, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't make the push. And one of the reasons, well, there are two, two reasons. First of all, uh, you don't want to be running around the country saying, yeah, since 2008 we've had four football coaches, four basketball coaches, and now three athletic, athletic directors. I, let's, you need some stability somewhere, in my opinion. But here's the deal. Tennessee athletic director, he was hired to do fix football, fix finances, Merge the Lady Vols, which means you're going to be hated. Whoever mm -hmm. took that job, there are a lot of people out there saying, go get a UT guy. Philip Fulmer would be the perfect ambassador for UT. If Philip Fulmer had had to reign over the Pat Summit issue, if he'd been the one that was having to deal with the NCAA issues and Bruce Pearl, if he was the one having to deal with this stuff, he would be unpopular. I just think all ADs are unpopular, and until you reach the breaking point due to the past issues you've been through, I don't make the push. Have any of us convinced you of? <laughs> no, you've convinced me even more that you're all wrong. <laughs> and, and, and once again, he stumbled into Butch Jones. I don't give yeah. him a lot of credit. He, well, he, he weaved his list, way down the interstate, and instead of getting hit by the truck, he fell into the back of a, of a limousine. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't, you but know, he's tired. Here's what I don't understand, John. I don't understand whether it was Dave Hart or even before him on something as important as this, the rush to judgment why you have to move so quickly. I mean, it sounded like in this hire with Donnie Tyndall, they made a few phone calls, and then they had a three-hour right. interview, and then you decide this is our guy. Yeah, I've never – I said that with the Dooley thing. Yeah, exactly. I'm always, I would rather go with an interim coach than rush it. And that's one thing. It gets back to you. Timing of this one is good because he's got two weeks before the – or a week now before the cattle call of the coaches out of the Final Four, where he can go meet with people, search firms already throwing names out, they're already throwing feelers out to people. This one should go more smoothly. If it doesn't, 
then I might slide down toward Bob's end of this thing. Well, the other thing too is is media and and public they start throwing out all these different the 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 um, hire of Greg Marshalls and Shaka Smart who aren't really options, and the fan base just gets upset, and so it pushes them to make a quicker decision because. They're getting pressure from elsewhere. What do you mean they're not options? They're going to be on our big 40-man yeah. board here in a second. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. we got 40 candidates to run through. We're going to tell you, you know, here's the thing. Watch UT hire number 41, who's not up there. Yeah. But we got 40 <laughs> head coaches, no assistants, 40 head coaches to discuss. Come on back on the Sports Source. Quality. Quick. Trust Fast Frame.